here with Myriad's Olivier Bartolo, who is going to walk us through uh, Alien Dalvik 2.0 and show it working on an iPad 2. So Olivier, take your work. So this is the uh, the main screen of the iPad. You can see, you can recognize all the icons, and this is a new a new one that you're not used to see. Um, if I click on it. So you will see here that we um, actually, uh, with the release 2.0, um, we have Alien Dalvik running on the cloud, um, enabling uh, uh, the Android applications to run on devices with uh, less power, like, like a tablet, for example. You can see that we can run today on desktop, so on PCs, on tablets, on phones, but also on what we call big, which is TV screen. So I connect to the server, I get to this page here, so you can see, you can recognize the icons that are the, uh, uh, the Android icons. Uh, we can launch an application full screen or we can have the application running uh, as a widget. So you can see that the application answer to um, uh, any click like uh, we would do uh, on the phone. Um, so that's an example of, of a widget. We can also launch an application uh, in, in full screen. Um, you, can, you can see uh, that the apps, the ads, sorry, inside the app are also um, showing up. This is a, a, a typical uh, game that you will find on Android Market. And you can see here that we are landing this first plane properly. Um, if I click on, on, the, uh, on the globe here, uh, you can see that we have the multiple screens. We go back to this one. Here I'm launching the uh, Android uh, uh, browser. Uh, I can go into bookmarks, decide to go into BBC. Um, we'll render the page of the BBC. Um, and we can just click on any article, uh, read the article, move it as we would do on any tablet or any touch enable phone. Uh, going back here you can see that we have multiple instances you can see that the game is still running so we have all the different applications running in parallel. Um, I can launch another one here let's say we launch ESPN and that would be uh, the ESPN uh, application that you have as well on Android Market. Uh, my teams here I could have the different results on NFL as well and here I'll go back if I want to kill some application yes use three fingers here you go and then I come back here onto the uh, myriad uh, screens you can see that we can move easily and uh, smoothly from one screen to another and of course if you want to go back to the other application on your iPad a simple click Okay, and uh, Olivia, I know you said that it's a little bit different from the last time we saw uh, version 1 of Alien Dalvik. If you could just go through kind of the differences um, between the two now. So the main difference really is the fact that instead of having the client um, resident on the device, we have it running on the cloud. So basically uh, the output is coming as uh, an H.264 feed and every input, uh, every touch that I've made on the screen is then sent onto the server. You could see that this is very slick, it goes uh, very smoothly but also very fast and there's no uh, uh, performance issues uh, compared to any Android handsets that you have today. And the plans to bring it, I mean, you're not just looking at it for iOS, it's going to be all over. I know you said big screens, everything, but what were the other places so, where you... So it? really, bef between, between where we were at Mobile World Congress, where we introduced for the first time Alien Dalvik running on Migo, and now... Um, what we are demonstrating here is that uh, not only we can port Alien Dalvik on any operating system that exists today, uh, but also we can run it on any form of devices. So we've done the mobile phone, we've done the tablet. Um, moving forward, you will see it in um, maybe unexpected places like automotive, telematics, avionics. Um, lots of screens available today in a lot of different markets. Um, and Alien Dalvik is the answer if you want to have one app covering all those screens uh, in the future. Excellent. Well, guys, that is the walkthrough of version 2.0 of Alien Dalvik. Uh, and thank you again, Olivier. And thank we'll you very much.